Today I'm going to show you how I make my trail mix and how I package them into these cute little gift bags. Hello everyone! Today I'm so excited because this weekend I am going to have a small get-together with my high school friends. We haven't seen each other in a few months and I would like to surprise them with a little giveaway treat. And I want to share that recipe with you. So let's make some trail mix. For today's ingredients, we're going to be using one pound of roasted and unsalted peanuts. I get this from Trader Joe's and this one package is a one pound bag of roasted and unsalted peanuts. We're also going to be using about one fourth cup of raisins. I also get this from Trader Joe's. This is organic Thompson seedless raisins. One fourth cup of dried cranberries. I also get this from Trader Joe's. And one fourth cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. We're also going to be using about a teaspoon of butter. If you don't have butter, then um, any vegetable oil will do. And for seasoning, we're going to be using a little bit of salt and cayenne pepper. We're going to set our flame on low. That way the raisins and the cranberries will not burn. And I'm using a small wok here, but any other pan uh, will do. I'm actually going to be using um, challenge butter, spreadable butter. And just very little. I'm just using the back of the spoon right here. Very little. This is just to coat our raisins. That way the seasoning will, will adhere to the raisins and the cranberries. So it's melting slightly because our flame, our heat is very low. So I'm just going to add the raisins there. Let it get coated with butter. It's always better to um, start with a little butter. That way it's not too oily. You don't put too much. And you can always add if you need to. But right now I can see that the raisins are getting coated well. You just want a little bit so that the salt will adhere to it. Gonna add a little bit of salt. So what we're doing here is a sweet and savory. So the raisin is sweet, and by adding salt and cayenne pepper later on, it's a sweet and savory treat. Now I'm just going to taste one of the raisins to see if it needs a little bit more salt. Maybe just a tad bit more. Mix it well. And then set this aside. Cranberries are next. And maybe just a little bit more of the butter so the seasoning will adhere. As you can see, that's really very little. Now I'm going to add um, the cayenne pepper. And just tap this a little at a time because you don't want it to be too spicy. You just want a hint. 
It depends on your tolerance for spice. I can actually tolerate a little bit of it. So, but just go easy, go a little at a time, and then try it later on. Okay. And there's a little bit of the cayenne pepper that's going to be smeared in the pan, that's okay. Because you want all those flavors to absorb later on, to blend all together later on. Okay. Now I'm using only one fourth cup of the raisins and one fourth cup of the cranberries, but you know, that's more or less. You can always add a little or take out a little of any of your favorite uh, dried fruits. So it looks like I might have to add a little bit more later on, but we'll see. And let me see, let me try one of these, see if the flavor came through. It could use a little bit more, but just a tad. Mix it well and set it aside. I'm going to add a little bit more um, butter to our wok here. So the seasonings will adhere to the nuts. So I'm just going to use the entire bag of roasted peanuts. Just dump them all in there. And mix it so that the butter will get spread evenly onto the peanuts. It smells delicious here already. It almost smells like peanut butter. It's like I'm making peanut butter. I'm just gonna taste that. So my flame is really, really low. It's just my, the nuts are not even um, warm. It's just enough so that the butter uh, will melt so that it can adhere, so that the seasonings can adhere to the nuts and the raisins and the cranberries. Now I'm gonna add a little bit more salt here. And just a tad bit more of cayenne. There. Now you can add as much salt as you want or as much cayenne pepper as you want. And that's pretty much it. Taste test. A little bit more salt. I get a hint of the cayenne there already. At this point, I'm going to turn off our heat before the peanuts get completely warm. You really just want to get it to a warm level so the butter is warm enough and the salt will adhere to the nuts. I'm going to let this cool a little bit so what I do to taste test it I get a little bit of that, of the peanuts. I get a raisin and I get a cranberry and I get a chocolate chip 
and put it all together, see how it blends in my mouth. That's actually pretty good. Maybe it could use just a little bit more salt, but the amount of cayenne pepper in there is really, really good. Okay, at this point, I'm happy with how salty the nuts are. You don't want it too salty because remember, the raisins already have salt in them. We added salt to the raisins. So I'm happy with that. So now we can add them all together. So slide in the cranberries and slide in the raisins. Mix it well together. And let it cool completely before you add the chocolate chips. That way they don't melt into the peanuts. It's warm, it's not hot, it's just a little bit warm, but let it completely cool before you add the chocolate chips. And that is our quick trail mix. Okay, so I've divided the trail mix into three equal batches because I'm going to give it to three of my high school friends. And then you can just put them in a Ziploc. Or what I did here is I put them in a vacuum pack using Food Saver. And then I'm putting them into this nice uh, paper bag, brown bags, which I got from Daiso. They're little cute bags from Daiso. And just add white tissue to it or any of your favorite colored tissue. And for the final touch, a red gingham bow, of course. So what I did is I bought a spool of red gingham ribbon from Walmart. I cut it into like 10 inch strips and then I tied it into a bow. I fixed it to the front of these brown bags using hot glue. And that's my little giveaway gift bag. Needless to say, my friends and I had a really good time last Saturday. So here are some pictures that I want to share with you of our get together. Enjoy! Till next time, thank you for watching The Red Gingham.